Hi, thank you for joining me for this review of this Black Knight 5.8 GHz VTX video transmitter. Comes in this box. Get a nice little instruction manual. Got the pinout explanation, but no real big diagram, which I'll share with you shortly. Operating instructions, changing channels and output power, changing the AOSD with a control board, and this is the transmitter itself. And here's a picture of the functions. And also of the specifications. And in addition, this has a low voltage alarm. And also a power off memory. So it'll keep the last settings when it's powered off. And you can also create your own DIY favorite channel list like this. So this is switchable from 0.1 milliwatts pit mode to 25 milliwatts, 200 and up to 400 milliwatts. We also get this six pin cable here going on to a five pin. And if we look at the pinouts, this top red one is 7 to 28 volts positive in, black one for ground, the blue for OSD control, yellow for video in, and the black ground and red here is for 5 volts out. We also get these little connectors with it, which is good. And also to use to plug in this control board to change the OSD menu. And we also get this MMCX KE antenna that we can connect onto an RP antenna. So a nice size and weighs only 6.4 grams. And I've going to hook this up to this Foxia Arrow Mini version 2 FPV camera. Although this has its own OSD, we'll have a look and see what the VTX OSD is too. Okay, so I've got this all connected up now onto a 7.4 volt battery coming in over here. Camera connected, antenna connected, and here's the OSD board. So if we have a look, we can see the Fox here camera. But then if we press the center button on the OSD board here, here's the main menu. If I press channel, one can change channels here. Go down to power, select power, and go inhibit. Pit mode, 25 milliwatts, 200 milliwatts, 400, and I select 400. You can go and look at frequency and choose the frequency and put the frequencies in that we want. And return. Call sign, you can change the call sign. Okay, so I've changed that to Black Knight. Voltage calibration can be done here. And change horizontal, vertical, location setup. OSD on or off. Alarm. So yeah, reduce this down. 
6.8 volts or let me go 6.9 can do a factory reset and exit so that's the OSD for the VTX so now I'm going to go and test it for range and reliability so I've got the Black Knight VTX on the quad here I'm just using monopole antennas well the monopole antenna on here but on the DVR I've got a patch and a um, a Omway antenna we'll see how it goes with that and then on the goggles I'm also going to be using linear antennas so I'll see if there's any difference between the antennas as well and how far we get and this is set on 400 milliwatts so let's see how it does Okay, ready to go. Let's take off. Okay, there I am. Up to so many meters. And let's go forward. Okay, 160 meters, 200 meters, three hundred meters, no breakups, very clear, very nice, very good. Four over four hundred meters, approaching five hundred meters, that's five hundred meters, still no breakups. Very good, very clear, very nice. Six hundred eighty, ninety meters, seven hundred meters. Eight hundred and fifty meters, still very good, going well very good on the goggles and on the DVR that's 1000 meters there and we're still going and I can't really see what's more the reading doesn't go above a thousand meters so very nice and you turn it around and come back So very good, no breakups. Okay, a little bit of static there on a thousand meters. Very good on the DVR and still on the goggles. Just looking for breakups on the way back now too. Looking good. Very clear. Oh, 500 meters, a little bit of static there on the way back coming forward. Four hundred meters. Three hundred meters. Two hundred meters. Fifty meters away and coming into land.
Wait for it to come down. So very impressed. You know, even just with straight antennas, so with other antennas it could be even better. A very good result. So, please subscribe, like, comment and share if you like my videos.